don't stop believing after a nearly 20 year absence former journey frontman steve perry makes a surprise return to the stage so what took him so long today tuesday may 27th 2014 from NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. And good morning, everyone. Welcome to Today on a Tuesday morning. All right, if you have the red voice chair, would you turn around for Steve Perry? <laughs> well, just it's nice to hear his voice yeah. again. He toured with Journey since, what, 1991? Yeah. Uh, nice. Something like that. Yeah. And Had of course, a couple of health problems. In exactly between, right. right. Yeah. We're going to find out what the event was that got him back on stage. All right, but we want to get that. to our top story first. That's right. Mal Now we're back at 749. We've been talking about it all morning. Steve Perry's returned to the stage for the first time in a long time. And Carson's over in the orange room with the story behind it. Yeah, Carson. Business this morning. This yeah. Great. Yeah. If you were at Fitzgerald Theater in St. Paul, Minnesota over the weekend, you got a real treat. You were there to see a great band from Los Angeles, alt-rock band Eels. There they are doing their thing. But during the encore, you get one of the greatest frontmen really in rock and roll. Steve Perry of Journey hasn't hit the stage in over two decades. Here's a shot of him in a Bill Graham uh, tribute concert in 1991. He walks out on stage and does an, uh, an Eels song. I can't say the name of the song. It's not appropriate for TV. And then does some Journey classics. Take a look. Steve Weller still sounds great. Uh, it, it, it does beg a lot of questions. Why now? Why an eel show? You know, why not a journey show? They're busy touring right now with Steve Miller Band. They have a great uh, front man, Arnell Pineda. Maybe he wanted to respect that territory. I don't know. But the tweets are coming in. Allie writes, so sometimes you got to get to an eel show, and Steve Perry shows up and plays Love and Touch and Squeezing, and it's the best thing ever. So it was a nice treat for music fans. We'll have more on this a little bit later. Guys, back to you. All right, Carson, thanks very much. Remember we had Journey on? Yes. Their new front man. Yeah. Song yeah. Steve Perry. Oh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Amazing.